so then, I'll just crack straight on with it. That's a bit about me and why I meditate. Um, the practice, the way I see meditation is it's like a game. And it's one of those games in which there are two players. There's, for the sake of just explaining this point, there's you and your mind. Your mind wants to make you focus on the past or the future. It wants to have you anywhere but here and now. And um, you, and, and so the conditions in which the mind wins are when you're not here and now, when you're not present. Um, not when your mind's nattering, by the way. The mind can natter and you can still be present. But the mind will natter to try and push you from presence. Uh, that, that your aim in the game, the winning conditions for you, are to be here and now. And, um, and so there, there are various techniques that can be used to do that, like some people use mantras, some people focus on breathing, or on walking, like there's anything that you can use. When I'm sitting down and do it, I just focus on the feeling in my hands. So I won't try and stop the natter in my head. I won't try and make myself feel a certain thing. I would just try and maintain a constant kind of awareness of what my hands feel like touching each other. A conscious awareness of that. Um, and I mean, I've got to some beautiful states with it. Like, I, I haven't recently. I've been finding it very difficult to kind of quiet in the monkey mind. But um, I got to some beautiful states where you sit there, and the longer you do it, the, the, the more blissful and beautiful it becomes. But you, you, I find I kind of sit there and I focus on my hands, and if I can maintain focus for ages and ages and ages, I start noticing my breathing just changing of itself, almost like you know the deep breathing that you have when you're asleep, and then um, it's just my body kind of quietens down, and it's like my body's shutting down. I'm, I think it's what you call going into a kind of trance state, and that's wonderful. That is, that's wonderful. Um, uh, I, m mindfulness is basically where you practice that that kind of you play that game, but when you're walking around, so you focus on what it sounds like, what the ground feels like with your feet as they step, as they make it step by step, um, and that's what mindfulness is. And it, like about three, four years ago, I, I was well into the mindfulness, so I was playing this meditation game all the time, just like non-stop. And there was a three-day window where there was just no chatter; it just didn't occur. And it was beautiful because, I mean, I would still speak when people spoke to me. I would just say the first thing that came to my head. And it just worked, you know, you, you, the, the, the thought stuff, it tries to make you think that we need it, but you don't. I mean, like when you're driving a car or riding a bike and an obstacle, and an obstacle comes up and you're unaware of it, and it just, it just pops in, and if you don't move out of the way, you're going to get hurt. Your body just moves out of the way. There's no thought about it. Maybe there's a thought after it, like a few, but it's just beautiful and it does it. So you don't need the thought stuff. But yeah, that, that was uh, that was beautiful. I remember being at work and I, mean, I was a cleaner at the time and that's constant effort and, and I hated it. But yeah, there was no hatred of it. There was just my body doing stuff. And that was wonderful. That was quite nice. It was very pleasant. <laughs> but the problem with it is in a sense, is when you're playing that game to that extent, is um, stimuli become more stimulating. So, um, like I say, normally you're constantly stimulating yourself with your thoughts, with your activities, and if you stop doing all of that, then your tolerance levels go up. It's, it's like if, if you've ever smoked cannabis and got into that, if you have a month or so where you don't smoke anything, and then you go back, it's, it just takes a tiny amount to get you off your head. It, it just takes a tiny amount. And then within a week, you're back to smoking two, three point fives a, a day, if you can. Um, and it's the same with the mind thing, because meditation is a drug, in, in the sense that it produces a different state of awareness, or a different state of consciousness, or a different kind of experience. And so, and also, your thoughts. Everything is a drug, I mean, this addictive kind of I'll talk more about this in the next video, but yeah, that's what meditation is. I would heavily recommend it. Um, goodbye.